So you may sometimes want to load some JavaScript files within a main JavaScript file. For example, you may want to load an external add script from within a main JavaScript file rather than copying and pasting it into the HTML. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Uh, I'm going to be loading two other JavaScript files from within this main JavaScript file that is linked to this HTML document here, script tags.html. And this document, it looks like this. So it's just an article with some paragraphs and a title. Now going back to my script, to load, to load one or to load two, which both create an image and append it to the DOM, I'm going to first of all create a new element And that's going to be of type script. So this, this part is always the same. And I'm going to save that in a variable called script. The part that's not always the same is the source. So you can access that with dot notation. And because two load one and two load two are in the same directory, I can just I can just type that. I don't need to use any forward slash. Finally, I append this new element to the DOM. So I can put that in the head or the body. It doesn't matter. The script will load as soon as it hits the DOM. So I prefer putting it in the head, but feel free to um, put it in the, in the body if you prefer. So prepend, and I want to prepend script. Okay, so this should work. To load one, what this does is it creates an image element loads an image and prepends it. So I'm going to head over to the browser. Okay, that's not a particularly great picture, but as you can see, it's loading and being prepended to the top of the page. So we are successfully calling to load onejs from within script.js. Now the way we're loading uh, this to load onejs at the moment is not the best way. Um, because we might want to use this functionality more than once. And if I wanted to rewrite this, do this again for to load two, I'd have to change the variable names and everything. So a much better way to do this is to create a new function. I'm going to call that load script. And then the only bit that needs to change each time is the source. So I can just set that as a parameter, pass that in dynamically. And there we have the same functionality, but it's going to be, we're passing in the source dynamically now, and I need to change this. So this is no longer fixed. This is going to be whatever we pass into it. Now, if I want to load uh, script one, I can just call my load script function to, and then the SRC, I need to enter that once again. And I can also load my second script by just doing the same, but changing the argument to to load two. Now to load two, it's similar to to load one. Um, it just creates an image element, but this time it uses insert before to insert it halfway down the page. So this is typically what would happen if you were running an add script. It might try to insert it halfway through your article. So if I head back now to my document and refresh, Okay, so now it's working. We, we have an image at the top and we have one in the middle. So both of our scripts are loading. Now before finishing, I want to show you one more thing. Because we are loading these scripts, these two scripts dynamically, we can actually set some conditions that mean one of them loads or the other loads or they don't load. So for example, we can use sort of media queries in JavaScript in this example. So I can say if screen dot width is less than 500 pixels, then I want add one to be loaded. So that's my to load one script. Otherwise, I want my to load two script. Okay, so this is a very typical thing you'd want to do if you were running ads on your site you'd want to check the screen size of the user and load ads dependent upon that. So this example, we should only see that the image that is halfway down the page loads and the other does not. And if I change that around, should see the opposite. So 
So it's just taken a while. Okay, but it's loaded. So that is how we can load another script file from within JavaScript.